Hi all, it's Michelle here and I'm here with another box, candy box review from Candy Sand. Uh, it costs around about 45 Australian dollars and you get uh, 20, 20 items in the box and each box is pretty much different. So let's start. What do we got here? Sakasura Panda. Excuse me for butchering things, but that's this. Um, which I think it will taste really nice. Let's have a look at what they look like inside. Ooh, caramel mousse, and they're each each individually wrapped, which I like. Oh, it's been so hot here lately. Unfortunately, the little panda face is melted. But never mind. I'm sure it'll taste good. Mmm. They are yum. <laughs> yum yum. Oh, yes. Mm, recommend those, they are beautiful. Mm. Chocolate. So, yeah, they, they're nice. I really like those. Just get me trusty water. Mm. But I like those, they were nice. <laughs> oh, isn't he beautiful? No idea what he's from. But he's cute. I've got a, a nephew that will love that. <clears throat> Next one is an Oreo bar. Um, yeah, it's a little soft. I'm actually sitting outside filming this because it's so beautiful. Mm. Who doesn't like Oreos? Mm. Mm. That, that's nice. Not as good as some, but it's nice. I like, I like a richer chocolate. But it's not bad. That's not bad. What have we here? It looks like uh, it's another packet and it looks like a big fish. It is. Oh, I think I've had one of these before. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the flavour. It might be strawberry, but um, no, I think it's chocolate. Looks like a nice big fish. Just got bitten by an ant. That's nice. It looks really, really nice. Ooh, and again, yeah. Mm. Oh, gee, that's nice. That really is nice. Mm. I really like that. Next one is, I've had this before. It's the Big Bar Z, and it is really nice. It's basically a corn puff, but it's actually a chocolate corn puff which is really nice. Mm. As I said, I've had these before. And these are beautiful. Can't get them in Australia though. Or if you can, I've never seen them. But they are nice. This one is... Looks like a chewing gum and it looks like it's cola flavoured so yeah it's not bad. oh actually it's not it's lemon and orange flavoured ah, it is nice and stretchy mm. oh it's really chewing gum so it's a taffy Mm. 
looking for fizzwhiz in your side. I feel like eating fizzwhizzes. It's really nice. Mmm. Actually, it reminds me of the Sherbys that we get here in Australia. Mmm. Mm. Now, I'm not going to open this one because I've had it before. It's basically like fairy floss with um, pop rocks it pop yeah, with pop rocks in it. Oh, oh. Yeah, so I won't open it, but yeah, I did. I did right. But that's basically what it is. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Popping good time. Even still, your pops as it goes down your throat. I'm going to do all the sweet stuff first because um, who wants to um, mix them? Because I think I've got a couple. Um, I'll show you these. I also got these kits in there, um, but I'll save them for another video. So Please look forward to those coming up. That's that one, which, uh, which looks good. And then there's this one. So look for look for those coming up soon. Um, probably be after I come out of hospital after my operation. Next we have is suck sucker shoe strawberry. I have no idea what that means, but it's great to be able to try things from all different parts of the world. Um, you just can't can't get any better. So, yeah, oh, looks like um, actually a little shoe pastry. In other words, suckle shoe, like shoe pastry. Basically, mmm. Basically, what it is is shoe pastry with a bit of strawberry cream in it. Mmm. This one I am not sure of. I'm not. A, I do like green tea to drink, but it looks like it might be green tea um, flavored something. Oh, I like the little bag it comes in. Like it's a little clip. Um, yeah. I could make a comment on what it looks like, but I won't. That's what it basically looks like. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Coating. But once you get through the chocolate after the coating, it's coating sort of bitter, so I think it is green tea, but it's then you get that nice hit of cocoa and it takes away that bitterness. Um, I have to admit, it does leave a slight aftertaste on your tongue. Mm. But um, yeah, it's uh, not too bad. I've had these before and they look like they're it's black currant and I'm not sure. Hello, I think it looks like O oh, L. Hello. Hello where I can still feel the pop rocks in the back of my throat. <laughs> Sounds weird. But. So it looks like it's yeah, they like that's black currant, I think. Yeah, that's black carrot. Definitely black carrot. And then they're a jelly. And they're quite nice actually, quite refreshing. And that one I think's aloe or yucca. Could be yucca. So I know you can eat yucca. 
and I know you can help you eat a lot as well. Mm. Actually, that's not bad. Mmm. It's got a gooey center. So I quite like them. Good gum. They'd be really nice. If you've had something really, really sweet and you want to get that sweetness out of your mouth, that did, um, hmm, because it's nice, it's tart, but not overly tart. It's really nice. So, yeah, I'll leave the minty ones until last, I think, because you don't want that overpowering, um, your taste buds. This one is, it looks like it's um, a soda, soda thing, something to do with um, ramen, ramu, or whatever they call their sodas. Actually, I'd like to try one of those. Let's see if I can get one. So, mm, that's what that one looks like. If you're wondering why I'm showing them that now, is that I'm having actually problems with my camera, my uh, still camera, so. <sighs> Sour alert. <coughs> oh. At least I tried it. <laughs> oh man, that was sour. Next thing I'm going to try is called, you know, I should actually look a lot of these up, but is this? And it looks like um, chocolate. <laughs> Sticking to me thumb. That's what it looks like. Mmm, that's nice. At least I got rid of that bad coat. Wow, that was sour before. Um, it's basically white and dark chocolate, I think. Actually, it tastes caramel -y. So it could be caramel and brown chocolate. That's, um, but Next is Calypic Cocot. Oh, those sweet Valentine's Days. Specials. They look so adorable. And it looks like, oh, can't beat the way that these people, they, they know how to package thing over there, package stuff over there. Look at that. That is absolutely superb. And I like the way it's done. Ugh. And again, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put these in the fridge once I've finished tasting them. Was there a bit? Mm. 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 I think that's my supper for tonight. Um, yeah, they're, they're nice. They are nice. Absolutely superb. Next is horns. Now, I think I've had these before. They're basically a sort of a wafery type biscuit with um, chocolate and it's by Menge, which makes the Pocky. Ooh, yeah, like a, <laughs> excuse me the look, but as I said, it's warmish today. Mmm.
Two thumbs up, that one. They are nice. Finally in the sweet stuff is Fancy Cast Bourbon. Now I've had these through Munch Pack as well. If you haven't seen my Munch Pack videos, please check them out. As I said, I've had these before, so I know they're good. They are like, again, melted. They just look a little chocolate filled. No, nah, beautiful. Next on the list is caramel corn, which is really nice. Sounds really nice actually. I like caramel and I love corn. Mmm. Actually, they're quite nice. They taste exactly like um, caramelized popcorn, but with a crunch. Can't beat that. Can't beat the crunch. Now, from what I look, see of this, it's like a prawn cake burger. The prawns, I like it. If it tastes like prawn, that is. You can smell it too. <laughs> there they are. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. They're nice. They have another one. Is that a tasty? Ridge palm. It tastes like tartare sauce or sour cream and chive. Mm, really nice. Now for all those who said I was a wimp last time but for not trying those hot chips, well just for you guys. Get a check. It says hot, flaming hot. Um they look like shoestring chips, like we get here in Australia. Or French fries as they're called. Let's see how hot they are. Now, well, as you can see, they're, they're not really coated. Tingle on the tongue, but I wouldn't say they're that hot. A little spicy. Again, yeah, no, I wouldn't say they were that bad. Okay, I take eat my words. Some things aren't as hot as I think. And finally, which I said I'd stay with, is mint tea. I think they're pretty much the same as what we have here in Australia, the mint type ones. And I'm fairly sure I've seen them here in some of the specialty food shops. And again, you've got to give them credit, Japan credit for their um, box, their um, packaging. I like that. So there's the little package. Flip the side. You take one out. And that's what it looks like. Hmm. It's more like a fizz whiz. Again. It's like those little ones we used to get um, in, a, in a roll. Um, close to the fruit tingle, actually, in the fizz. And very, very, very nice, actually. Well, I'm going to end this here. And I want to say to all, everyone, stay cool, uh, which is starting to cool down here in Australia. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers!